It's a big problem for a lot of dogs. What do you do when they run into a porcupine? Now, we have some important information when we ask the vets this week. We want to warn you, though, it's a little tough to watch some of this. Here's what happened when our own vet's dog got caught on the wrong end of this fight. Hi, I'm Dr. Donica Salamoon, and as you can see, I'm here with Lola, who has porcupine quills in her muzzle. She's my own dog. We were just out for a run, and she stuck that muzzle right next to the porcupine's den. So the thing I want you to know, you can see how uncomfortable she is. The most important thing you can do is to get your dog to the veterinarian right away, because we're going to need to sedate her right now to get these quills out. Um, as you can see, and we'll look uh, once we sedate her, um, these things are stuck uh, deep inside her muzzle and to try to get these out on your own um, is only going to leave part of the shaft inside and that can cause infections um, and pain that continues on for many days. So now what we've got is we've got Lola under sedation here and so you can see that we're working quickly while she's sedated to get all these quills out um, and so we're working with instruments so that we can grab down low and try to get these barbs um, because these barbs try to stay in the dog's body and this is going to prevent her from having infections here later um, and it's going to allow us to look inside the entire mouth. A lot of times they'll get these uh, on the roof of their mouth and so when we're done here then we'll feel carefully and make sure there's nothing on the roof of the mouth or going down the tongue. So now what we're doing is we're lasering inside her mouth where we took those quills out and that laser um, is going to help decrease the inflammation um, that she's going to be feeling secondary to those quills. Um, and then in addition, we gave her an injection of anti-inflammatory and an injection of antibiotic um, so that she will not have any secondary effects from this as she wakes up. And then she should recover and she should be feeling much better in the next few days. Poor doggy. If you have a question to ask the vets, email us, askthevets at cbs6albany.com.